Uh, what even were we doing last? Oh, so there was an update. Um, I don't know if mine took it yet, but we had the cultists on the rock. You can actually walk now? Good. Yeah, that was rough for a while. Um, they updated the game, and the cultists that died because I didn't do their quest in time, they've changed it so that those cultists don't have a timer anymore. Because there's there's no way you would possibly know it has a timer, and it kind of feels bad. So, that was one of the changes. Um, sorry, I had to fix that. And then, just some quality of life changes with, like, the telescope and things. Um, so we're here. Oh, they also added this, being able to, like, uh... Zoom in and shit. Well, there we go. Being able to zoom in and get a closer look. They kind of like just did some quality of life updates um, late last week, so. Now we actually have a little bit more control. Alright, Devil's Spine is our next shenanigan. Uh, let's do advanced fishing. We have a bucket of bait. <clears throat> and we'll throw a V8 on this bitch, why not? Alright. Um, I have the volcanic rod, right? Yeah, I do. So we're gonna rest until morning. We're gonna check our crab pots. And then we're gonna go to the double spine. Uh oh, they're all broken, that's right. So. We need to go northeast. Is that how you read a map? Something like that. Um, technically, you're supposed to get the quest item that you would get from the cultist retroactively. I don't know when that would happen. Or if I would have to go back to them and manually try to get it. Oh yeah, the telescope's a lot higher now too, like it's easier to see stuff. I would like sword tail, but I also would like to get to where we need to go. So if we go straight ahead like that, we'll hit those islands, we can check that and then we can go up. <clears throat> Excuse me. So how, Eric, if you're still here, how long is that process of, like, when you kind of get to control what you're doing more? It's about, like, what, a year? And they start kind of giving you free reign? New fish, who dis? Snake mackerel, that's where these are. I'm trying to find these the other day. Give me that trophy snake mackerel. Ding ding. Okay. Um, there's some shit. There's a dock, which is nice. You undock next to an old rowboat. Somebody is here. He's hunched over by the campfire, muttering to himself. You cautiously approach. Uh, did you did you throw it back? Don't know what you're talking about. The book. Oh, he thinks I'm the collector. No, mistake. I'm not seeing things. It's really you, isn't it? Who do you think I am? He turns away, wringing his hands. He speaks to the fire. It was him, him and his damned wife. They dredged up that old book. But something, something cloaked in fog followed it out right through the boat. Boom. The man makes crude explosion noises and motions wide with his hands, still talking to the fire as though pantomiming a story to a child. It spoke. It said it was coming for our breath, that we wouldn't be needing it soon, and then darkness crashed down. An age later, some of us washed up on shore, and him still clutching that book. 
Throw it back, we cried as the fog rolled ashore. We thought, surely it can still be undone. I think I know what book he's talking about. Silver, yep, it's the collector's book. Throw it back. The man closes his eyes tight as he holds back tears. His voice falls to a whisper. Please, the lighthouse keeper, she saw. She knows where it came from, where it needs to go. What's the, yeah, what's the lighthouse keeper know about this shit? Uh, 90 days, you can start having some choice. Okay. Cool, that's not bad. She saw it all that ruinous day. Ask her, beg her, tell her I... Trails off, his face collapsing in sorrow. What do you know about the fog? Cloaks that calamitous thing. It's evil. Haven't you felt it? More about the book? Silver and crimson. That's it. Alright. Holy shit, we found the old mare stranded, and of course shit's fucky. Why wouldn't shit be fucky? Um... I would dredge that, but I don't have a ton of time to get where I need to go. I do see the pontoon there, which is good. So, we're just going to beeline it for that. <clears throat> Hit that fucking throttle, baby. like the lighting change. Hey there, weirdy. Uh, buy all my fish. $97, that ain't nothing. Um, do I have need for these yet? Put the wood into this one. None of these need refined metal. No. Okay. Uh, what do we want to do here? So, we don't need the mangrove one, obviously. I already have one of those. Does have a research part, which we will definitely buy. The refined metal is tempting because I'm gonna need it, but I'll yeah, just find it. Okay, research. We were researching. What were we researching? I think it was a lot of this. We just rushed a bunch of that. Um, let's try to get this net. I feel like a trawling net is going to be good for this area. Okay. Um, let's let's just sleep it out and start fresh for this next day. Is that a fishing spot, really, or... No, oh, okay. Well, we're definitely gonna do some fishing and find some new cool shit. It's like a fucking Pokemon. Ooh, what the fuck? Is that a real fish? It's cod-shaped, so... It's friend-shaped. Tells me these don't sell for a lot. Catch a fuck ton of them, though. 
Ooh, ossified sea robin. Give me your bones. Alright. Hopefully at least $100 worth of fish here. $229. I'll take it. Ooh, that's fucking trippy. I like that. What the hell? What the hell are you? Oh god! Oh god! Um. Okay, I'm getting. I'm getting fucking hunted. Go away, you weirdos. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Oh my god, there's more of them. Oh man, it's just Piranha City in here, really? Well... I'm gonna get this message. And we'll read it once we get to our next dock. This doesn't look creepy at all. Oh, God. All right. A man meets you at your dock, bracing himself against the wind and spray. Oh, rapturous day, a fresh disciple carried to me atop the waves. Come ashore, weak thing, and rest your weary soul. Hmm. I don't know if I want to trust him. I'm going to trust him. Your arrival is providence from the deep itself. You've been calling and now you are the answer. The rite of purification is almost at hand and you are to be my replacement. I'm listening. Your trial begins immediately. Tell me, what does your spirit seek? Seek? What does my spirit seek? Probably, uh, I mean, happiness sounds like a good answer. But sadness is a little more grounded. I'm just gonna say sadness. <laughs> Liar, nobody seeks sadness. Truly, you seek pity. And your flesh, what does it crave? Um, personally, ooh, I get sunburned e super easy, so probably not the warmth of the sun. I can, I can handle pain pretty good. Sting of the salt isn't a bad answer. Chilled, I hate cold, cold water. I don't think sting of the salt. Pain is a trick of the flesh. Do not surrender to it. Finally, what does the world deserve? Do you mean, like, the populace? Or do you mean just, like, the planet? Um, no. Mm. no nothing is deserved. I don't think anything is truly deserved. <sighs> exactly, and yet it takes endlessly. Harvesting, draining. But soon it will know that it has taken too much. It is already too late. The trial is concluded. You still have much to learn, but that knowledge will be delivered to you in time. Now your role as my initiate is to act as Herald of the Purge, just as I was for the one before me. The nearby spires blaze with eternal fire, yet the stone hearths of these three idols lie barren and void. Retrieve three fathomless flames from the crags behind us and ignite the crucibles. Visit the shrines of the deep. I will mark them. They will offer further guidance. And I must provide no more. Huh. Uh, what's the leftmost statue? Well, the stone crucible. Oh, okay. Uh, stone columns. They're carved with ancient pictures and text. Which carving you want to look at? Uh, the bubbling vent. Which 
There's a bubbling underwater vent. The breath of salvation. It burns those that mean harm. Only the pure remain. Meet the words. Somebody has added a crudely scratched note. Protection. Follow the magma. Find them. Okay. Uh, large eyeless beast. The carvings of a large fish with crossed out eyes. The unseeing mother. When the starving cannot eat, she approaches. They've added crudely. Blind but can hear her children. Avoid at all costs. <clears throat> Swarm of small creatures. The ravenous children, alone they are nothing, together they summon her. We need these words. Do not let them grip you, burn them away. Okay. So the bubbling vent. Protection, follow the magma, find them. So the vents are good. The large eyeless beast is the unseeing mother. Okay. So whatever these little fuckers out here that are uh, roaming around. Enough of them get together, it'll alert mom. Who's a large eyeless creature, apparently. Um, are there any shipwrecks around here? Oh. Okay. It found me during the rite of proving as I scavenged for creatures of power. It sat my spear when I first recovered it, but I came to appreciate its strange nourishment with time. As will you, when the ritual is prepared, it will be yours to carry forth. Alright, he's got the fucking... He's got the fucking thing. So, according to the thing, these should be safe. Okay, so I don't get hurt if I go over them, and they'll keep me safe from the fuckers. God, I hate that noise. Okay, let's redock. Let's read that. Okay. My darling, I have found you at last. When you left, I was scattered to the winds, but now I feel almost whole again. There's just one thing to do. Throw me back. Oh, these poor, poor lovers. These are three statues. Yeah. Okay. Yummy, yummy. Are y'all hanging out in Discord? Should I should I come hang out in Discord with you guys? Tunes there. Prey sighted. Achievement unlocked. Spot a fish of each category. Sick! Discord baby. Alright, I can Discord baby. Is that like industry baby? Uh, wow. Leave. leave. <laughs> and why should I leave? I don't know. Why not? No, I said I should leave. Oh. Don't Yo, did you guys see if fucking Nicolas Cage is a new Dead by Daylight character? That's phenomenal. Is he a survivor or a killer? We don't know. <laughs> I hope he's a killer. Please be a killer. Imagine I want him to be a killer. Like, it probably has to do with that Redfield yeah. thing, doesn't it? Uh, might be actually. Like... I just don't understand why they would have Nicolas Cage as Nicolas Cage, Survivor. Right. I mean, they did, uh, Bruce Campbell, but as Ash Williams. There's some oh weird Oh my gosh, what if, he's the, what if he's the guy from the Bees movie? Oh god. Oh my, the Wicker Man? The Wicker Man, yeah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Not the Bees! Not the Bees! Not the bees! <laughs> I'm surprised that they haven't made a bees killer yet. I thought I was losing funny. my mind for a second. I had Evan's stream open and didn't have it <laughs> muted, so it's just fucking just like repeated oh, everybody. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
That was loose my mind for a second. The fun house yeah, horrors. Get those yeah. Oh man, them sell for a lot. Alright, I gotta experiment. I don't want to experiment, but I need to experiment. Hey, fishies. I volunteers tribute. Yep. Alright, little demon fish. Come on, fucking. That's what's up. Come on now. Oh, I might have cornered myself on accident. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. No, 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 no. Okay, no, they are afraid of the fucking. They're afraid of the volcanic vents. They're afraid. <laughs> it's afraid. It's afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I just beat the tits off my boat, though. Hmm. Man, I don't have a goddamn clue what I'm doing. Oh, shit. They're coming for that ass. They were on me, dude. They were on me. Why are there so many of them? They're relentless. Uh, man. I'm trying to figure out where the hell I can go. These things want smoke immediately, dude. Ancient Lighthouse. Climb the many steps leading up to the Ancient Lighthouse. At its base is a solid door. Can't see a handle, but there's a large socket carved into the face of the door. Huh. Okay. And cave. Dimly the cave, you can make out some paintings. Left wall. The birth of a civilization. A great beacon of light is shown, repelling a tentacled figure emerging from the sea. In the dim light of the cave, you can make out some painting on the boat on both walls. Sorry, fucking wow. The fall of civilization, a volcanic eruption tears through a tall lighthouse. Monster shapes devour people as buildings turn to ruin. Okay. It's not creepy at all. Can I do anything with these yet? No, not yet. Okay, so there's ghost sharks here. Ghost sharks are cool. Um, ghost sharks are freaking cool, man. All right, I'm back from washing dishes. I'm Welcome proud back. of you. Speaking of relentless. Yeah. Did you ever hear the story of uh, Darth Scott's Plagueis relentless? the Wise? <laughs> Have Sorry. you ever heard the tragedy of the relentless owl bears? No. Uh, our, our buddy Scott was playing D&D &D, and uh, there was an owl bear that was chasing him and so he kept having to make like constitution saves to like see if he tired out as he was running from this owl bear right <laughs> he kept making the saves but the owl bear just kept chasing him and chasing him and chasing him he like climbed up a tree and the owl bear was like sitting in the tree <sighs> and then he like fell asleep in the tree and then woke up and like was running away from the owl bear and the owl bear just kept chasing him and like wasn't resting ever <laughs> That's funny. What? He's just, just DM. He's like, what the hell is with this owl bear? And DM's a, is like, well, the monster manual says it's relentless. And Scott's like, what do you mean? Like, okay, so like, when does it tire out? The DM's like, well, uh, no, it's relentless, so it'll never tire out. It's going to follow you like the snail. It is relentless. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But the snail at high speed. And it's also an owl bear. <laughs> yeah, and also a large creature. Yeah. But the owl bear that can shoot a rapid fire gun at you and also charge. Where's the volcanic fire? Oh, no, they changed rapid fire, sorry. I'm thinking 7th edition. 
Eric, that, I yes. invited you to game. I, I am connecting. That is how rapid fire works in 7th edition, you are correct. And also, yeah. Force Heresy 2. Oh, shoot. Well, anything besides now, salt, right? If the Horse Heresy was so good, why isn't there a second one? What? <laughs> anything about this? What are you talking about? Horse Heresy 2. Anything besides assault guns, you can. You have to. You can. You can't charge after you shoot them, right? Pistol. You pistols too. Pistols assault too. and pistol. What? What? Yeah, you can. You can shoot pistols and charge. It's not letting me connect. By the way. That's crazy. Yeah, it's why uh, with Iron Warriors the shrapnel pistols are worth the two points. Because I can just light someone else. Like, because I also get rerolling ones and an extra shot on all shrapnel weapons with my right of war. Oh, so it's yeah. like cool. Only on my twenty man. What's that? Only on tag squads. Yeah, but that's all I run really. So uh, it's just default in my brain. But like, I have a twenty man marine squad, and like, cool. They're all gonna shoot shrapnel pistols. Cool. Forty shrapnel pistol shots. <laughs> One's bound to wound, and I'll get a pin hopefully. Wizard needs food badly. <laughs> Did I send you guys my... No, I didn't. I'm gonna post an image in the Discord of my favorite spell. Favorite spell? Yeah. Is it blood favorite... to sand? No, it's not. <laughs> it's my favorite. Or no, yours is blood to acid. <laughs> ah, same did. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Let's see what it is. It's casts drone strike. <laughs> <laughs> This wizard just standing with the spell book. Um, it says connecting. It's not. It's not working. Uh, let me close my game and then reopen it. Evan, how do you feel about the game Stellaris? I don't really dig um, those kind of games. You don't like 4x games? I really don't. Uh, call what me a blasphemer like a 4X... if you must, but. What if it's a 4x board game? <laughs> oh, that sounds horrible. What if it was Twilight Imperium? See, I like Twilight Imperium because it's just like, I don't feel like I have to take it too seriously. Correct. That is how you're supposed to play Twilight Imperium. Right, so I, I'm fine with that. How, however, when Correct. Uh, when it gets down to like a competitive nature, like which Stellaris really feels super competitive to me, mm -hmm. then I'm just kind of like lost on it. I think... Uh... I think you would both love and hate playing Twilight Imperium with uh, with uh, our buddy Nate. You know what I'm talking about. The one I'm about to dox. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, Insert IP address here. Yeah. The one that probably can find anybody's IP address in the server. Yeah. <laughs> not the one that uh, is not with us anymore. He didn't he's die just... or anything, he's just in a different yeah. state. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he just lives in a different state. Not with us anymore is really ominous, man. Like, <laughs> so, Is it the same password, Matt? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you, you, I think you would both simultaneously love and, and hate playing with that Nate because... You, you know how he is, he's like the king of hijinks for no reason. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. But then also, like... <laughs> like it, it, it's it, it's funny because of the hijinks, but also it's not like makes you want to tear your skull out. So it's like whenever you play your odds and evens decks or like weird shit like that. <laughs> what are my odds and evens deck? Nate <laughs> playing Twilight Imperium is you playing a normal game of Magic the Gathering. <laughs> I just got any given <laughs> game of Magic the Gathering with Nate. Yeah, no, you're right. Oh fuck! Because like you'll make a deal with him and be like, oh my gosh, this is the best deal ever, and then he'll turn around like. Make a similar deal with somebody that you're fighting tooth and nail against. Right. Yo, uh, I think I found mother. 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 Oh, I found mama. I found mama. I f mama found me. What are those guys following you? Uh, nothing good. Why is your boat on fire? Uh, so I I was blessed by like an, a man with an eldritch book. And uh, he at one point gave me the power of haste, where I can just overclock my engines, but if I overdo it, it'll pop an engine. Sounds good. It's pretty dope. So, like, you've been overdoing it, right? 
I have done it a couple times because I'll be like boosting and then like I'll go to read the chat and just pop my shit clean out and it's like fuck. <laughs> Oh, the other message bottle. Oh yeah, and uh, the worst part about when, when Nate plays Twilight Imperium, the, the worst slash best part is that he makes all these deals, and you're like, geez, he's playing every side. Like, there's hey. no way like he can get away with this. And then he makes like actual <laughs> bids for the win. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> he can't keep getting away with this. Yeah, it's that deceive, deceiving nature that he has. Oh man, I had the best, uh, not, not the best play ever. I had a great play. Uh, we were playing, uh, it was me and him. Oh, yeah, Eric was there too. And uh, our other buddy, Brandon. And uh, Nate and I had exchanged ceasefire cards. Mm -hmm. or, or promissory <laughs> notes. Which is Peace in our time. Yeah, like, it was like turn one or two of the game. We were like, hey, I'll give you the ceasefire. Like, yeah, sure. Uh, and what it basically does is uh, if they go to activate one of the systems that you control, you can play their ceasefire card and it ends their turn. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, Nate was just sitting on Mecha Tolrex like a big dumb bitch. <laughs> Nobody could touch him because he had all these freaking dreadnoughts because he was playing the L1Z1X. <laughs> and then uh, Brandon went and like ousted him like a, a champ. Amazing. And, like, he, but he has had like really meager resources, and he needed like at least like two turns to bu to build up any sort of defense. And the uh, secret is, I had secretly traded Nate's ceasefire to Brandon. Oh my god! Because <laughs> Brandon had taken my home system. I was like, hey, if you leave, I'll give you the ceasefire. He's like, okay. <laughs> so he just sends a Mechathor Rex, and Nate's like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna activate Mechathor Rex. And Brandon's like, like hell, you are ceasefire. And he's like, you son of a bitch. Oh man. <laughs> Y'all are uh, filthy. And like the entire time, like Nate's like, well, I can't attack Dave because I have a ceasefire with him, so he's just gonna stop me in my tracks. And I'm like, uh, yeah. Yeah, those <laughs> mind games, that's what pisses me off when I play those fucking games. Honestly, me sitting there without the ceasefire while Nate's like sitting with his entire fleet next to me, just ready to kill me at the moment's notice. It felt like one of those uh, like public bathrooms where like, it's one-way mirrors, so nobody can see you inside of it, but you can see everybody. Oh, and you're just sidewalk. watching people as you take <laughs> <Yeah>. a piss. <laughs> I was just like, uh, hi, Nate. I have my pants down, but you can't tell. That's fucking funny. Uh, good stuff. I don't know what this is fucking stone tablet's for yet, but... I gotta try. I think you have to return the slab, or else you might suffer the curse. You know what? Slab. Honestly, that's probably right. But there's. Ah, uh, you ready here? Uh, no. Give me one second. Like a maze. You're a maze. Hey. Hey. What the actual Got fuck him. is that oh. fish right there? All right, I'm ready. I don't know what it is, but I think I can atrophy it. I did. Oh, but it's infected. Reaped. Does the infection like spread to? Oh, it's a coelacanth. Holy crap! That's so cool. I don't know. Oh, hey, look, that looks like a stone tablet thing. Um, the thing is, that is an ability that I can basically use like once per day, uh -huh. uh, and it will automatically just reap the corpses of fish from a pot, like an area. No, I mean like the the uh, whole like infected thing. Is it gonna like spread to the rest of your inventory? It will spread to the rest of the fish in that inventory. I see. And because I did it earlier more. and forgot and fucking all my <laughs> shit rotted. I see. I see. Sounds like a trade off. Yeah. Um, but it does raise your panic to a decent degree. It seems so. I just gotta be careful about using that what, too often. What happens if your panic goes off the charts? Once your panic hits max, a golden or a glowing anglerfish comes from fuck all nowhere and rips you in half. Oh, so it's just like a game over kind of thing. Yeah, there actually is um this ability here, banish. So you activate that. It's just a thing that surrounds your boat, and it just oh. keeps going. But it'll start raising your panic. But you can use it to like ward off the I fish. See. So it's like you're tr you're trading like safety now for like for doom later if you don't make for, it. Yeah, in time. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's kind of like the gist of that. It's very fun uh, mechanics. It'd be I... cool. 
It'd be cool like if full panic didn't just instantly kill you, but just made it like super difficult. I don't know. It's not like it wasn't just like, oh, yep, I hit the max. I'm I don't max. necessarily think that's what happens because I've only oh, gotten killed by that thing once because now I'm super careful about being out at night. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but so I need I, got you. I need two weird ass looking crabs here. Oh, it's a coconut crab, like the kind that ate Amelia Earhart, and another crab. I. Why does that not feel true? What do you mean? That sounds what like such you, a what crazy you, what, fact. What do you think happened to Amelia Earhart, Evan? <laughs> I don't know. I d definitely, that would not be my first guess. I can tell you that. Yeah, her her airplane, uh, like landed on a, just a deserted island, and there was nothing there except coconut crabs, and so. If, like, she obviously died, like, she didn't make it back and, you know, return to society. Yeah. So she obviously died on the island and was consumed by coconut crabs. That's insane. Yeah, well. <clears throat> what, whatever happened to Malaysia Flight 274 or whatever? I don't know, Dave. What did happen to it? Coconut crabs, dude. <laughs> Can't <you see> the <laughs> they brought it down. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the coconut crab anti-aircraft. If you ever sounded like Alex Jones in your life, <laughs> it's... What must I do, Lord? Sacrifice. <laughs> it's not sacrifice, is it? Destroy the child. That's what it is. Destroy the... Corrupt them all. Eric, it begins. What begins? I will save the galaxy one raiding bombardment at a time. What the fuck? What does that mean? That doesn't sound like saving the galaxy, my friend. <laughs> I need to abduct yeah. them and bring them back to the ring. This sounds like a Paul Atreides kind of saving the galaxy. I need to abduct people and bring them back to the ring. You oh, warp, my friend. Coconut crabs are now legal. They're now legal? What does that even mean? I don't know. Hold on, I got you. <laughs> there it is. Legalized coconut crabs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I got a bunch of crab pots down. Um. Oh my gosh. You're gonna suffer the same fate as oh, wait. Melly. Oh, wait. I, I had a brain blast. Um, one of the fucking fish that I needed to find was that one that I atrophied to fucking catch. Brain blast. It's not back there anymore, but I should clear it. Hey, oh. Damn. I'll hey, keep yo. an eye out for that big ass boy. Spare coochie. <laughs> Spare coochie, ma'am. <laughs> um. God, this place is a maze, dude. Dang. <laughs> Legalize nuclear bombs. Legalize nuclear bombs. Okay. Let's get to a volcanic thing, please. Uh, I don't think what I need is in here. Uh, oh, God. There is a shrine in there, though. Do it! Haha, <laughs> do, do it, do it now. Let's uh, do it. Let's do it. No, Eric does a great let's do it impression. He does. Eric? Do I? Eric? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> we I are like children. I, I, <laughs> I, I felt like I was like <laughs> it, in the presence of Justin Roiland in that moment. Oh, God. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's not a good thing. What are you talking about? He did freaking Morty. He also, he, he also somebody. did. He also did hit his what? wifey. He also. <laughs> Yo, is he really hitting the wifey in the bowling alley? <laughs> Do not. Uh, uh, <sighs> fucking. <laughs> Evan, sorry, we're gonna get you delisted in the shadow ban. No, that's okay. I've I've made it clear to myself that if I want any kind of fame, it's General Sam level of fame. So yeah, I just can't be alone with those things being said because then it looks bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Listen, guys, it's just content. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just making content. That's all it is. <laughs> That's oh my all. gosh. <laughs> Smash got the Nuremberg 1946. We were just <laughs> making content. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no. Dave. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> I, I, like, I don't want to laugh at it. <laughs> I can't help but laugh at it. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Shit. It's just good comedy. It's just... Oh, you can't write this shit, folks. Oh, God. Fucking Tokyo drifting through this bitch. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I need to do here. I have to go check out these other shrines and figure out what they need. So, like, do you have, like, an, a daily upkeep cost or anything like that? No. Or it's just, like, day and night is a thing, but you don't have, like, a set number of days? I mean, if I throw my ass into a pile of rocks, I have to pay to repair my ship, but, like... Yeah. I don't have to pay anything to just play. Exist, yeah. There's no upkeep cost. It's not like Pikmin, where it's like, oh, you have... You have to sacrifice, the, you have to sacrifice a lineage before you can continue. Yeah. Nah, it's nothing like that. Alright, what does this one say? <clears throat> uh, two malformed fish writhing under the sun. Me two too. malformed fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> A lower slab holds two shallow grooves. Um. What fish was big enough to.